everyone, it's Amy, and I'm going to show you a really easy freezer meal, and we're going to talk about all the different ways you can change it up to suit your taste. You're going to need some rossaroni. I'm using the chicken. You're going to need some chicken. <laughs> You're going to need some green onions, and you are going to need some sliced almonds. I'm going to cook the rossaroni. I'm sure you all know how to make rossaroni. You just take some butter, water, you know. You know how to make rossaroni. If you don't, there's the instructions. Butter, water. All right. I'm gonna get that made. We will be back once I get that going. All right, we're back. That's the chicken that's gonna be going in there. You're gonna to wanna to put that in there right before the rice is done. Just so it gets nice and warm in case you know it has time to cool down now there are so many different ways you could do this you could do a spanish rice put your chicken in there and then add a well-drained can of rotel and then top it with some shredded cheese you could do a um is it called like i think they have a fried rice with the rossaroni, you could add some, you could scramble some eggs and chop them up really fine. Stir that in there with your chicken. You could add a little soy sauce if you wanted. Then you could also do the almonds and the um, green onion like I'm going to do. Also, cook an onion. Put an onion in there when you're browning your butter and vermicelli and rice. And then cook that with the rice. So you'll have two layers of onion flavor in your fried rice. Now what's vermicelli? That's pasta. Oh. So. Because I was going to ask if that was a musical instrument. <laughs> now the way this works in a freezer meal is you are going to, once you add the chicken and get that done, if you want to freeze it, you're going to stop at that step and portion it out into however much your family is going to eat. To thaw it, you're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. 12, 24 hours and then you're going to reheat it in a skillet on low don't let it brown or anything just get it nice and warm and then you can continue your steps so we'll be back to show you how to finish it up all right we're going to toast some almonds here's just some sliced almonds here, put them in there you do not want to walk away from these because then you will not have almonds to go on top of <laughs> I'm gonna put it about on medium heat and you're just gonna toss those until they start smelling nice and nutty and if they start turning them really really brown just toss them out and walk away That's so we're letting those do their thing last of all he's getting close And this just adds a nice crunch on top. And then the freshly sliced green onions is going to add a nice pop of freshness to the meal. I just think you can have part of this already in your freezer ready to go. So if you have a big family, like tonight we could freeze half of this if we wanted. Or... We could make two boxes and split it up into the freezer. I'll probably eat the leftovers of this tomorrow. <laughs> now next week I'm thinking about sharing something I learned that I never thought about that will make your life super easy. And it's just something that you can make and freeze and have in the freezer for when you want something quick and easy. I, I never even thought about freezing it, so I was really, whoa. You're gonna have to smell those to see if they smell nutty. <laughs> My nose isn't working. Yeah. 
I'm starting to smell some muddy. I'm starting to smell some muddy, and we're getting a little bit of brown. Okay. So I'm not gonna let it go much longer because these will burn in the blink of an eye. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off. Leave those back there. I'm gonna get the chicken put in. get the chicken put in here since this is almost done. I'll cover that and let that go for just a couple more minutes. I'll be back to show you what it all looks like with them. All right, there's the rice with the chicken. Tony's gonna add some green onions on top. That's probably enough. And then he's just gonna put those almonds on top. I'm telling you, this is so, so good. And the almonds, it's it's such a unusual texture to it. Well, that makes it sound bad. No. <laughs> no, it just gives, it gives it a really good, like, crunchy, I don't want to say a snap, but... It's just, it's a different texture from the chicken and the raw. And then you've got an even, you know, you've got another different texture from the green onion. Doesn't that look good? Bright color, the green onions. I am ready to eat. So Amy's not really, for a recipe like this, she's really not big on the bottom parts but hey you can add that in there and I'll actually eat these on the side yeah I mean I've just never liked the white parts of green onions just put you a little bit out there and give it a taste and we're definitely gonna have leftovers and if you find that you put the green onions and stuff on top and you've made too much it still won't taste good if you reheat it the next day. So, get a nice spot with some chicken in it here. Make sure I get some green onions in there. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Look good. We're gonna go eat. Hopefully, you will try this and you'll like it. You remember, remember when I said that you can try it several different ways? And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.